Don't let this happen to your black soldier fly bin. Here's what to do about it. All right, Damon at Black Warrior Lures. This thing is set here for a while. See, the problem with doing black soldier black fly bins into just a bucket like this, oh gosh, that's heavy. May not be able to get it to move. Is it, it really gets funky and nasty. Oh gosh, you know what? <laughs> that ain't gonna work. I'm just gonna have to rotate this big booger out. And a lot of fruit flies in there. Drain this water off. And we're gonna take it and put it in there. All right, no choice. It's just too heavy to move. So first thing, if this has happened to you, how to regain control of it. Oh gosh. Do you know how gross that is? All right now. In fact, I'm gonna get my other boots. You guys have seen me with these boots on. These are a good pair of boots. Let's see if I can get you a link on Amazon for them. Shoes for crews. I mean, I use them when working in a restaurant. You always have to have waterproof boots on and things. Ugh. So now we can take this chum and shovel it out, which is probably not going to be the most efficient way to do it. But by the way, this stuff will kill your grass. So if you dump it, just make sure you dump it somewhere. So there's how we're going to do that. See? And that will... Uh, And uh, so that's how we're going to do that. We could shovel it out. Now, once you get all that water off, it doesn't stink all that bad. It's the water that stinks. The actual, the actual chum itself is, doesn't really stink all that much. It smells kind of like donuts, kind of like sourdough bread. All right, so in the, in the thought of efficiency, we're going to quit messing around with that stupid thing. And now that this is much, much lighter, okay, we'll just one fell swoop. Ooh, okay, dump all this in here at one time and be done with it. All right, oh gosh, don't want to hurt my back, be careful. Sorry for the jiggy. So the reason you want to do that is because that's not bad. And again, this is this is what I'm. This is the video. Maybe put a link, but the video you saw me uh, how to set up your soldier fly bin. This is still the stuff left from that seat from last season. I mean, this is about two years worth of chum, and I'm not going to be chumming anymore simply because I don't uh, I don't have to anymore. I found you know, if, in some sense, I made some of my own methods obsolete. Right? Once I figured out how to cure the chicken livers. Uh, that in and of, and, and drifting, when you're drifting, and that's not going to be the most efficient way to do this. Well, I'll tell you what, I know it'll be a better way. Let's get the old channel cat chummer here. Ha ha ha. These things have a lot of use, man. I use it all the time. See, now all that... Now, this is a better container because it's black. But, you know, what I might do is just trim the, I could trim this guy in half and then put it in there, uh, you know. But, uh, you know, in other words, cut this guy in half longitudinally and then just uh, put it on there. I mean, this, this stuff, it's the, see all that fluid that's on there? That's just, well, a lot of that's rainwater, some of it's poop from the, black soldier flies themselves but again once it fills up with rainwater they it's just like a mass exodus they just get the heck out of there and find better pastures I guess but now all that milky stuff is going to drain off and that's going to make a much healthier environment for these black soldier flies and that's that that's more feed and bedding <laughs> and see all that there all that just all that just needs to just drain off and it will drain off over time 
just because we you know we have that nice bedding down there that'll absorb some of that and the holes in here so uh, as far as this goes we're just gonna well, we're gonna just do it like that now could you take this same system here and put it here yeah all you have to do is drill holes here fill the bottom of this with your bedding that'll absorb the water in my case I'm using pine straw and then whatever amount of chum you want on it and be done with it all right now wild dogs are going to come eat all that up so you don't have to worry about it those seeds are dead so they're not going to sprout because you've just cured them there and so uh and so there you have it folks how to better take care of your black soldier flies Ooh. now it's still too cool for them now i haven't seen any signs of them anywhere uh so but, uh, you know, I, I generally find, you know how the old wives tale says the best time to start fishing for brim is like the first full moon of May or whatever. That's generally about what I found that these black soldier flies start thing. I mean, this is clearly a hot weather thing. Uh, this time of the year, you're better off just trying to, you know, maybe find you some earthworms or something to fish with. But this time of the year, I'm just going to be using prepared baits. When I say prepared bait, I mean this time of the year I'm going to be using cured chicken livers because that's the easiest bait for me to get a hold of right now. Now once the uh, black soldier flies get in and this thing is just full of tens of thousands of these guys, guess what I'm going to be using? I'm going to be using this stuff. Uh, and uh, so, now yeah, there's another use for the channel cat chummer the boots go build you one of these systems and uh, so let's get the lid back on here okay so there's the there's the lid and uh, and you know what we may do is lay down some newspaper on top of it provide some sort of uh, top for it so it'll block out some of the light they don't really like light well, actually, that's not true. They do like light, but they, uh, you know, not too many of them will come inside the house, I find, because they, they prefer the light. But anyway, uh, if it's light like this, more of, the, more of the little bugs will just burrow down into it. So you have to just dig a little deeper when you want to get a batch of them to fish. I've got to clean out these boots. and Basically, all the grass here is just going to die. Uh, it'll, it'll come back eventually, but... That stuff is the, the uh, acidity of it. it. It'll just die. So what we'll do, we'll wash that guy out later. There's the lid here. Put that guy back, 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 back on top. And if we want to expand the bin, we could work on this. But as you can see, there's clearly a gap here that they can come in and lay their eggs down in there and uh, breed and uh, in the trees, they come lay their eggs down there. By May, June, there'll just be tens of thousands of black soldier flies in there, and we don't, you just don't have to buy bait all summer and autumn long. Now in the spring, I just don't even worry about it. Because you got to start over every spring simply because um, you have to start over every spring because uh, that's to kind of anchor it, because they don't survive the winter. Uh, that while they do survive the winter, but they don't breed and they're not active during the winter, so they just sort of disappear. But every summer they just come back. I mean, there's just millions of them out there. I mean, if you just set up, even if all you did was a five gallon bucket here, I'd recommend that you would uh, cure your chum first, but then just drill some holes in the bottom and then uh, put your black soldier flies down in there. Uh, put the bedding down in there and then put the chum back on top of it so, so it's sort of a two bucket system double bucket system there uh, and you've seen me take that fishing uh, and so uh, but there you go better way to maintain to fix an anaerobic black soldier fly bin especially when you're using sort of catfish chum as your main feed source all right Go and do likewise. Those of you guys 
who have been wanting to been seeing me make the videos on this go and do it see what kind of bluegill you, you, you can catch some monster bluegills with these things so uh, go and do likewise and let me know how it works for you i'll talk to you later bye